Shalom, so today is the 12th episode of Sipuri Tzadik Game and today we're going to talk about a rabbi named Rabbi Yonatan Eibushitz Eibushitz, Eibushitz, anything you want to call it, Rabbi Yonatan Eibushitz who's a Kabbalist, born in 1690 and died in 1764 unfortunately he was also born in Poland so he's a, he's, he's a European, a European Jew There is a very interesting story about Rabbi Yonatan Eibushitz, where he would go into a yeshiva, into a yeshiva, and he had a friend. His friend was zealous, real zealous, like not, not like the fakers today. And every every sunrise and every sunset, the window there had a window in the yeshiva, the window. There would come out a shadow figure like cross from the church on the on the uh, across the street and they would go crazy when they see with the cross on the floor. Oh, what is this doing here? Get out of here. So Abiona the neighborhoods, his friend was zealous, as he said. And one day his friend said, Okay, I'm really annoyed by this. I'm gonna destroy this cross. He said, oh, if you destroy this cross, they're gonna kill you. He said, I don't care. I'm gonna die for the name of a son. So, he went there, got a ladder and climbed it, and boom, destroyed the cross. Once he was going down, the Christians caught him. Throw him to a jail, go there. And decided to kill him. Now, uh, Rabbi Yonatan was uh, was figuring out a way on how to get off, get out his friend from jail. So he said, oh, probably they would like money. Because the Christians are in politics. So they like money. So he, had, he said to the guard, went to the guard of his friend, his Christian guard. Hey, I want you to free my friend. And all your friend is expensive. If they find out about this, this your friend about your friend, I'll escape. It might be fishy, and then he, they'll they'll kill me. Okay, name any. He said, oh, I don't know. I'll probably. There'll be another name. Said, name any. Just name. He named. He said, okay, just wait here. He went ran to his house. Got all his wealth. How did he get all his wealth? This. He. When he married to his, uh, his wife, his father-in-law, his father-in-law gave him wealth, many wealth, rubies, diamonds, gold, you name it. So he got all this without asking his wife and said, here, just free my friend. They said, okay, I'll free your friend here. Your friend's gone. You, you, could, you could go now. Okay, his friend got down. Now he went back to the yeshiva. The people said, hey, Rabbi, here, money, money, here. So what are you doing this for? He said, we want a piece of the mitzvah. We want a piece of the, of the good deed that you did. Want a piece of it. So here's the money to free your friend. So I've always free my friend. He said, really? Well, we want a piece of it. No, nope, I only got it. Sorry. Now Rabbi Yonatan Eibushitz had to deal with the consequences. What was the consequences? He had to tell his wife that they were poor now. Obviously they are poor now, so he was scared to tell his wife. So he said, okay, probably I'll tell it, tell her, I'll, oh, okay, probably not. There's some kind of doubt. So what he do, he said to his wife, hey honey, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go in the yeshiva. And he hides in the yeshiva for a week. For seven days. Let's say he went there Wednesday, he'll come back there Wednesday. And at the Wednesday he was supposed to come back, this Christian guard came to his house before he even came back. Before Rabbi Yonatan Eberstus came back, he, this Christian guard came to his house and, and he saw, he knocked. Hello, 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 hello. His wife opened the door, Rabbi Yonatan Eberstus' wife opened the door. I said, oh, what are you doing here? Who are you? So, this Christian guard took three buckets of 
of wealth. Boom. Here, this is for you. You know, for me. For for me, I said yes. For for your family, for your husband. I said why well, you are you giving it to me? She said because because they found out. They told the story. This Christian guard told the story about um, how Rabbi Yonatan Abishutz uh, gave him. He, how Rabbi Yonatan Abishutz uh, got his friend out, and then the Christians found something fishy about this. So he said, "Oh, probably this guard is." Uh, is some kind of bribing us and then they also found out that he was stealing from the church for years already so they're gonna kill me now i have to run away i can't get take all these wealth so if i survive i if i survive i'm i'm trusting your husband enough to give these wealth these buckets of gold and silver and diamond back to me i'm trusting him enough because i know he's an honest man and if I don't survive, I want him to have it. Why? He's a real Jew. He was willing to sacrifice everything he had just to uh, just to save his Jew, his fellow Jew. So, so this Christian guard left. And Rabbi Yonatan Abishut went home. Then he went home. Tell her I'm not gonna tell. Her. Tell her I'm not gonna tell her. In the end, he saw his wife. He's singing, rejoicing, happy, yeah, Baruch Hashem. So, why are you happy? So she said, Look how much your God loves you. Look how much your God loves you. You gave up so little and look how much he repaid for you. Oh, how much your God loves you. So he said, uh, So, Abiyon at the neighbor shoots. So everything, if you are being not a neighbor, what would you do at this point? Baruch Hashem, you recite Hallel. Baruch Hashem, I love you Hashem. Thank you Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Eina nachnu maspikim leoidos. We can't thank you enough. So, what does our being not a neighbor do? He starts hysterical crying. Not tears of joy, but tears of sadness. Why? What did I do to my con with my connection with Hashem? If He repaid me in this world, it means He didn't like my mitzvah. Why? Because I didn't share it. I didn't share it with everyone else. That's why He didn't like it. What did I do with my connection with Hashem? What did I do with my con connection with Hashem? What did I do? So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.